So we're usually not this prepared at the curtsy, but uh, this one took a little bit of planning. A little shout out to Rob's Backyard Grill. We're uh, gonna pre-marinate some chicken here from your local co-op, of course. Use our trusty knife. We're probably only gonna marinate half the chicken because- <laughs> Just in case. We don't know if this is actually gonna work very well. But the breakfast turned out amazing. The breakfast was awesome. Sticks to your ribs. It sticks to the ribs. So, this one we're gonna use my wife's trusted candied jalapenos. Good thing we opened that ahead of time. <laughs> usually I have to fight with the lid. So, we're gonna put our chicken thighs into a nice uh, Ziploc bag here. Perfect, <laughs> nailed it. We'll have to clean that up later. Good thing we just cleaned the tabletop. So we're gonna add in some of our jalapeno juice. What do you think? Uh, yeah, good. Then we'll throw a couple scoops of jalapenos in here just for good measure. Oh, oh, <laughs> shaky today. And of course, this was under a big debate. <laughs> we weren't sure what else to add in here. We were gonna use something else. But it's it's you gotta go. You gotta go with sailor. <laughs> Can't go wrong. No. Is it too much jalapeno for you? Uh, I'm, Screw it. We're gonna put a couple more. We do it live. I just may hurt later, but that's fine. <laughs> so we're gonna seal this up. And put it in the fridge. We'll try this out later. Got a little rainbow there. Tom, how wet are you? Uh, a little bit. What? A little bit. A little bit wet? A little bit wet. <laughs> Welcome to the Curtsy Kitchen. Uh, today is a little collaboration with our buddy Rob from the Backyard Grill. Uh, we had a conversation about chicken and waffles. I'm not fucking making waffles. <laughs> it's not happening. So we're going to use some Eggos. Rob did give me a few tips and we're probably going to butcher this thing, but we're going to try and make it happen. So we're going to take some uh, jalapeno juice. He said about a shot. That looks like a shot. Yeah, it's yeah. somewhere around there. And we're supposed to, oh, I didn't bring a spoon or a fork. To you got a this, finger. But we're gonna figure it out. We're supposed to add about a cup of milk. Sure. Sure. Whatever that is. And we're just gonna use our tongs. <laughs> give that a bit of a stir. And we're supposed to let that sit for a few minutes. Tips from Rob. In the meantime, we're going to throw some bacon that we pre-cooked. We're going to throw this in to a pot. We're going to make ourselves a bit of a curtsy chicken and waffles. This thing's going to be, it's hard to describe. It's going to be more like a spicy chicken with Cabot Trail hot sauce. On our, <laughs> on our waffles. And a studio and, uh, audience in the background. And, uh, we got a studio audience out here in Yak, so we're gonna give this a go. Stay tuned. So, as you know, we uh, pre-brined our chicken with some jalapeno juice and some Sailor Jerry. We're gonna throw that in our buttermilk. And throw a few pieces into our uh, handy bag of uh, pre-mixed flour and seasoning that my wife graciously made for us. And we're gonna shake that around. Do we know what's in the seasoning? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever my, who knows what my wife put in this. Maybe she doesn't want us to come back. That might be a thing. If we're not here next week. You know what happened. We're in Yak, by the way, Yak, BC. And 
Somebody's not well. <laughs> Just saying. And we're totally doing this by Braille because I have no idea what I'm doing. Just taking tips from Rob, and if this goes bad, it's Rob's fault. I totally agree. And this is probably not the way we're supposed to do this, but this is the way we do it in the curtsy kitchen because that's what we do. When do we get to the shake part? It's coming. I want, relax, I want the shake relax. part. Relax. Nobody needs to see me. <laughs> Just saying. Because I didn't read Rob's instructions at all. No, so. no. <coughs> I'm, for all I know, we're doing this in the wrong order. Did you even write it down? Nope. Who cares? It was after some drinks with Rob, and I can't even do it with a Ziploc. There we go. So there's supposed to be... We talked about doing fried chicken. All we really have is a bunch of bacon grease and butter because I forgot vegetable oil to bring with me. So we're gonna give this a shot and see if it works. And hopefully we don't turn the barbecue on fire. <laughs> and uh, we have a pan here with some whole bunch of bacon grease and butter. We'll turn that up a little bit. We're gonna try this chicken in here and see how this turns out. So we learned a cool trick this morning making gravy. So we're gonna apply that to our uh, sauce for our chicken and waffles. So we added some bacon. My cameraman should come this way. We've uh, got a bunch of butter in here with our bacon. We're gonna add a whole bunch of flour in here. Give this a couple minutes, just like we did before, except we're not using milk this time. We're using Cavatrail. Where did we get it? From your local co-op wines and Absolutely. spirits. Absolutely, we got it from our co local co-op. And uh, we're going to try and make ourselves a Cabot Trail hot sauce to go on top of our uh, chicken and waffles and see how that turns out. But hopefully before dark. Maybe. <laughs> While we're waiting for our bake, or bacon, chicken to finish up, we're going to try and uh, finish up our bacon Cabot Trail mix for our hot sauce it's basically a cabot trail gravy i guess is what we're gonna sure? go with sure and we're gonna add oh my goodness i don't know we we're supposed to put about a cup in the gravy before so we'll try about the same with the cabot trail this could not be <laughs> it might work it might not i have no idea rob's not here we're gonna go with it so we'll give that a little bit of a stir and see if this actually thickens up I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. We're just finishing up our uh, Cabot Trail, whatever you want to call that, bacon Cabot Trail Gravy? sauce. Sauce. And, uh, you know, we're not making waffles, so we're going to do some Eggos while we wait for our chicken to uh, crisp up a little. Throw a few Eggos onto the barbecue. See how these turn out because I've never cooked Eggos on a grill before. But, Who probably uh, has, really. But we're going to give it a shot and see how that pans out. And then we're on the homeward stretch. So it looks like everything's just about done. We managed to not burn the crap out of our Eggos. While these are crisping up, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take two of our chicken. Put them on our Eggo. My cameraman wants his crispy. Gotta have it crispy. So we're gonna do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna take some of this wonderful bacon cabot trail and we're just gonna put that on top. A drizzle, if you would. We'll call that a drizzle. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add some. Uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Don't even Fiery know. Diablo hot sauce, which was given to me for Christmas. And we're just going to throw some of that Holy, on there. Holy, that's a lot of hot sauce. It'll be fun. And then we're probably actually going to add a couple more handy, candied jalapenos on top. Get it in you. So, uh, verdict's out. This is probably the best damn curtsy kitchen <laughs> meal we've ever made. Screw you, Rob. Eggos kick ass. This worked 100%. Amazing. The candy jalapeno finish and the hot sauce is what makes it. The Cavatrail. 
I don't even know what to say. It's the secret. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is happening again. Again. And again. What did you think? Uh-huh. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> Best meal I've had in who knows how long. <laughs> Get it in you.